Good morning. Good, how are you? Well, good morning, guys. If it looks like I'm out on a lake and a kayak, it, uh, it's because I am. You know, the goal today is to catch some fish offshore, use the electronics, and, um, you know, try to catch some deep. And I just need to find them. Problem is, I've only got my legs instead of my 250 Yamaha. Let's see what happens. I'm reading a little too, a little too hot. I'm gonna turn that sensitivity down to about 50. All right, guys. I just threw my uh, my marker buoy behind me because I'm seeing some fish down here, right in this area. Start off with a. Uh, We'll swim bait. Maybe switch up to a Carolina rig here in a minute, but yeah, it's some really good, really good signatures right there. And we're just gonna toss it out and see what we see what we can do. The other thing that's different than, than fishing a, a kayak offshore, you're not gonna be able to get that that distance that you normally would. You don't have that big casting platform just kind of in that sit down position. You can actually see bass below these shad right here. There's a bass and there's a bass and they're right in these shad. All right guys, I've actually switched up to a Carolina rig ring fry now. One of my standbys for offshore fishing. And I can actually feel some hard bottom up there. That's good. All right, guys, there we go. First fish on Carolina rig. I readjusted my position. Fish are up much shallower than what, what I thought they were. So, ooh, man, he's feisty. Just a little guy, but he's a sign of life. There we go. I don't know if you can see see below me right here, but these fish are all the way up in like seven or eight feet of water. I was fishing in like 15. So they're actually, they're in about seven to 10 up here on the very top of the point, which is real good. We definitely want that. It means they're feeding up here. There's another one. Got it. That's a better one there. Yeah, uh, it's a good one. Man, he's really fighting. There we go. That's a little better one. There we go. All right. Nice little three pounder right there. Good one. Let him right back into the water. Should get bit right here. I'm using a tungsten weight with braided line so I could really feel the bottom. When I go from, there's like a slightly hard bottom, kind of pebbly, to really feeling some, some good chunks, like some broken up rock, that's, that's where I'm getting bit. I'm kind of getting in that zone right now. The spot I just went over right here, there's about six or seven bass stacked up. When I come through there with this Carolina rig, I'm gonna get bit. There he is, just had a bite. Not a big one, but we'll take you, Mr. Predictable. There we go. Carolina rig. I'm a little freaked out right now, guys, because I can hear buzzing in my rod, which means there's a lot of static electricity in the air. We've got a storm behind me and put two and two together, it's not good. When you can't, when you can't get off the water very quickly, it's a little scary. 
That's another little group right here, guys. About 20 seconds, I should get bit. Here's one. I got, I got one. Got. Oh, it came off. Did not get a good hook set on that one. There's another one. Got him. You're not that big. You're just acting like you are. Ugh. There we go. Another two and three quarters. Oh, I know I seem like a, a pansy, but every time I lift my rod, I can hear it buzzing. It's like, it's like a zzz sound. It sounds like an electric socket. And uh, that's not cool. That's not cool at all. All right, guys, here's what I've been using. A little watermelon red. Lake Fork Trophy Lures Ring Fry. It's, uh, it's one of my standbys, you know. I'm gonna switch it up, just uh, see if I can get bit on something else. I'm gonna go with a uh, little baby creature. I really like that Ring Fry and other stick baits. Especially when I'm fishing around shad. it kind of represents anything but this is a good bait too kind of looks like a crawfish or a bluegill and another big group of bass right here i don't want to say guarantee but it's uh there's one got it a little guy come here we go. That was one of those ones out of the little group there. You got him. Little guy. See you, dude. ring fries are just hard to beat guys I go I go back and forth with different things this is just one of those deals where you know May June post spawn it always works for me Jeez, oh, took the rod out of my hand Got a lot of them in that lower lip for some reason. Must be the way they're grabbing it. It's another healthy two and a half, two and a half, two and three quarters bass. Hey, I'll take them all day long. Really, all I'm doing, guys, is I'm just I'm pedaling back and forth over this spot. And I'm, I'm getting bites both ways. That doesn't really seem to matter that much. Um, but because it's so hard to position myself and make a long cast, I'm just tossing it out of the back and then I'm using the kayak to position my bait where I want to. Now another thing that I might try is a drop shot or a shaky head or some sort of you know verti more vertical presentation. That'll probably work as well and get right on top of them. So now I'm gonna take my drop shot. I'm gonna, just gonna get directly on top of some fish. Then I'm just gonna drop it down. I already got one. Real easy technique. There we go, let him go. The drop shot's just a really good way to catch fish vertically. I like to throw a spoon and stuff like that too. 
but when they're on the soft plastic bite, this is hard to beat. All right, I'm gonna head in, guys. It's raining, it's lightning, that's never good. And hopefully it'll let up, we can get back out here. Oh. 